learn how to tweak a layout using CSS Grid for content placement. The organic theme uses a lot of imagery and it uses CSS Grid to set the content on the canvas in a unique way. Using grid area names, the grid can be altered to accommodate new items pretty easily. In this demonstration, I'm going to add a new image to that collection of images up at the top. I would like this new image to stretch across the bottom of the set. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that the breakpoints are on default mode. This way the grid can be tweaked at individual screen sizes. With the slider moved down to the lowest breakpoint, I'm going to go to the content pane and click to add a container element to the canvas. From the element pane, I can see using the element tree that the container to container element is the parent with three children elements, in this case containers, are nested inside of it. The new container added inserted into the canvas outside of that container to parent. Uh, so dragging and dropping it to the new container uh, will add that element to the group so that it can be positioned um, within the grid. Now I'm ready to start styling and positioning. So over on the style pane, I will first add a class name so that I can identify this element. Lower down in the settings, I will apply the background image to the new container. Under the design background section, I'm going to click add new image. The background properties will expand for the configurations automatically. Under resource, use the dropdown to select local image. This will launch the image resource window for importing and selecting uh, a graphic. The size is then changed to cover. This way the image will fill that available space. Under the layout section, I can tweak the width, height, and other spacing controls. I'm going to go ahead and set the height um, of the container to about 400 pixels. Viewing the canvas, I can see the new container doesn't have spacing that matches the existing ones. The other three items have margin around them, so there's um, a nice little buffer between the image and the edge of um, the canvas. I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of those existing items so I can view what those um, margin and padding settings are. By cheating, I can see that they each have a 16 pixel margin applied to the bottom and both right and left sides of the containers. So cool. Now I'm ready to go back to that new container and apply the same margin settings so that they all match. Moving the slider towards the right for larger screens, I can see the graphic starts to scoot down a little too far. So back to those background controls, I will adjust the position so that the image sits in the center both horizontally and vertically. Continuing to move the slider, the grid expands and the stacked images now reposition themselves. The new container needs to be set to stretch horizontally. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here so you can see this a little bit better. To adjust the grid, the parent container needs to be selected. You'll notice that the little grid symbol will appear on hover to indicate you are choosing a grid layout element. You can activate the grid control by clicking on that icon or alternatively, you can go to the styles pane layout section uh, under display. I'm going to go ahead and click that blue button, though it's easier. Applying 
CSS Grid to a Container allows you to create a grid of rows and columns within that specific container element. When the grid editor is launched, you can see the on the side, um, over on the side panel, where the content is currently configured to sit. The grid is currently divided into two across and two down. The tall image, also labeled container one, stands tall, while containers two and three take up the right side cells. Clicking on the plus arrow, I can add in new rows and columns to this grid. I'm going to add a new row to the bottom of the grid, but before I do that, I'm gonna go um, first give that new container an area name under the styles pane, layout, grid, and flexbox layout section. This way, when I change the grid in the grid um, editor, you can see the content placement change instantly. Um, you, you don't have to do this step first, but it makes for a better visual. In the settings, change the grid dropdown to grid area-based placement. Then under name, I'm going to give it the identifier container four. Now relaunch that grid editor from the parent and add the new row to the grid. I will add the container four identifier to the newly created cells. Ooh, you can see right there how the image is now stretching across the bottom. To change the spacing of the cell, click on the current measurement on the side, in this case it says auto, and adjust the height to 45 VH, also known as viewport height. Click OK to save the new grid settings. As you can see, that cell now stretches across the other images. The beauty of CSS Grid is that it's easy to rename your areas if you want to change up their locations. If I reopen the grid, I'm going to rename the area, um, the areas with the container two and three, moving them to the lower cells and switching out that new container four putting them in their old spots. Tweak the layout margins and height to match its counterpart on the side, and the grid looks good. In just a few easy steps, I was able to rearrange that content. Now go out and make some awesome grids.